Hi guys and welcome to Tech District. We live busy lives these days and with busy lives come busy schedules. With busy schedules, naturally we need the right app to keep track of everything. Enter Evernote. You've probably heard of it and you're probably using it right now. Even here in Tech District, we love the Evernote app and using the heck out of it in our office. So we'd like to share with you five Evernote tips to use it like a pro. Before we begin, we try to put out content every day, so please show some love for the channel and give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with the tech industry. Number 1. Use the full desktop version. Okay, this one's a little cheap, but very true. Even veterans of the app agree. Start using the Evernote app mainly on your desktop. Even though Evernote was designed for mobile use as well, the full version of the app is on the desktop and it's easier to organize everything from there, be it your PC or your laptop. There is a browser version for it on your desktop, but we still recommend downloading the full app, which doesn't take that long and it only takes a minute to get going. Evernote is available for both Mac and Windows. People have complained that it can be frustrating to organize your notes via phone and tablet. So we recommend you use your mobile devices to capture and find information on your Evernote account. But when you're back in your office or home, just start organizing them with the power of the full desktop app. Number two, indexing your handwritten notes. One of the most powerful tools in Evernote is indexing, a feature which recognizes handwriting from a picture and turning it into a searchable text. If you take a picture in JPEG, PNG, and GIF format of a receipt, document, or even handwritten notes, Evernote evaluates them using its indexing system. As long as the handwriting is decent enough or the text in the physical document is clear enough in the photo, then Evernote will make these texts searchable in your app. This tool is very powerful for those who like taking handwritten notes on the spot or receiving physical documents from other people. Perhaps you received a handwritten note from other people or even a business card. You don't have to worry about losing these documents. Just take a clear picture of them using the many capturing features of the Evernote and the text in those documents are searchable in the app. This is an even more powerful tool in meetings or classes when you're trying to record the whiteboard. There can be overwhelming information on the whiteboard that you just can't keep up. Keeping pictures of them are fine, but the fact that you can search specific information in your pictures using the indexing tool can be life-changing. Number three, web clipping. We copy and paste content from the web all the time. As a matter of fact, we bookmark many things we are interested about on our browsers. Like a web page, bookmark it. Like an article, copy the text and save it in Word. Want to share a product while shopping online? Try taking a screenshot. Pulling information out of the internet is an everyday task for us. But with Evernote, you can take it to a whole new level. Say you're looking into news articles and want to collect them from different sources. Normally, people would start copying and pasting information from the internet. Screenshots are also becoming more common, and keeping tabs on these files can become a nightmare. Introducing the Evernote Web Clipper. This is a web browsing extension tool that helps you pull information from the internet more efficiently and makes them easier to organize in Evernote. All you have to do is install the extension in your favorite web browser and you're ready to gather information. If you see an article you like, all you have to do is go to the Evernote extension and decide how you want to pull the information. You can record the entire page onto Evernote. Simply just use the article or only the text from the article itself. It even gives you options to bookmark the page onto your Evernote or simply take a screenshot. It'll even save the source of all the articles you saved, giving you options on where to save them and add reminders that you saved this article. To make web clipping even more powerful, the web extension can even index all screenshots and photos saved onto the Evernote app. 
in relation to number two. So searching for those articles, screenshots, and even bookmarks are now seamless as ever. This is useful for those doing research or gathering large information, taking your dull copy and paste to the next level. Number four, encrypt your notes and keep everything secured. People take this for granted, but most of the times we use Evernote for personal use. Therefore, it's normal for much of our financial information to be on the app. Sometimes, if you're sharing a computer screen with someone or showing people something on your mobile device, you could risk showing some sensitive financial data, like that credit card bill you've been trying to hide from your husband. Rest assured, Evernote has your back. All you have to do is highlight the selected text you want to hide, then click on Encrypt Selected Text. Once a password and hint has been set, the text will be hidden until you enter a password, either to show until you quit Evernote or open it permanently. This is a great way to ensure that your sensitive notes are kept from prying eyes. Oftentimes, credit card information, billing numbers, and bank account statements can be easily accessed by other people. Make sure you keep them private by using the encryption function from Evernote. Also, did you know you can create notebooks that won't be synced to your Evernote account? All you have to do is go to Files and create New Local Notebook. This new notebook will be saved to your device or the PC it was saved on, but will actually not sync to your Evernote account. This way, you can save specific information on dedicated devices if you want. Lastly, don't forget to create a two-step authentication with your Evernote account. By using this, you will still need an OTP confirmation from your phone to log in, even if someone got your password. Evernote also supports Google Authenticator, as well as making sure notes are safer at all times. Number 5. Share in more ways than one More and more people, as well as families, teams, and offices are using Evernote not just to keep track of our busy lives, but to also share information together in an even more efficient manner. In the workplace, you can go on and share Evernote files directly or sending your colleagues an email as well as links to the note. Your shareable note can have anything from files to pictures and even more links and text. There are even options where the people you share the link with can just view, copy, or edit them as well. Lastly, you can publish files and notes to your entire office to show your performance as a team. Powerful tools for getting productive in the workplace. But sharing also goes further with the ability to connect your Evernote with your social media. The fact that you can take pictures and save it into your Evernote, then make it searchable as well as add reminders are great tools. But now you can share whatever you find out there in the world and tell everyone about it. Sharing notes goes beyond the traditional office. If you see something you like and know the right people would appreciate it, go ahead and save it on Evernote. Then share it all to your social media accounts with the link or directly to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So don't just limit Evernote to the office and classroom. Take it with you to enrich your life as well as others. If it's alright with you guys, we'd like to squeeze in one last bonus tip, and that is to try to expand your Evernote with the App Center. We already covered the Evernote Web Clipper and the Scanner in the indexing feature, but Evernote is not just a standalone app. As a matter of fact, Evernote integrates itself with many other applications such as emails and social media, and it goes further than that. Evernote can be synced with many other programs such as Google Drive and Dropbox so that everything is saved and backed up at all times. Evernote even has an app center on their website that you can browse in so that you can find the right app for your own Evernote account. Obviously, you have Dropbox and Google Drive there, but Blinkist, for example, is one of our favorite. The app provides educational books, ideas for businesses, career, and self-help. You can listen to audio versions of the books you choose and take your learning everywhere. With Evernote, Blinkist becomes even more actionable. All of your Blinkist highlights can be synced directly to an Evernote notebook, so the insights you create are right at your fingertips, right when you need them. 
So have a look at the Evernote App Center and don't be afraid to expand your Evernote experience. That's it for us here in Tech District. Now you're ready to use Evernote like a pro and organize your life and work. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below what you liked about the Evernote. We love chatting with you guys down there and we hope to see you again real soon.